mean, I, I think I think Impact just in general is like so solid. Like he's just such a fucking solid player. Of course, mental is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he look, he's been in NA for how long, and he still hasn't caught the uh, the NA virus that you know it took ruin like a third of a split to catch. You know, so it's it's always good to to see players that are resilient to the bullshit that you have to deal with over here. I mean, Kabi Kabi was here. He knows what that shit's <laughs> like. Said all that here, dude. Like. I mean, uh, the, that was you, unintentional. That was friendly fire by accident. Uh, you just bring I mean, away and you were in a crowd. You know. I mean, re- realistically though, like, do you feel like NA just makes players worse? Like the combination of the ping and like just the worst quality teams. Like, do you feel like like you, you got worse when you came here? Like, do you feel like you're playing better mm. now than you were for that split? Uh, <laughs> it's it's so hard to answer, but but yeah, like uh, the solo queue, kind of. I mean, you just play at higher ping, so. It, all your your combos are not as clean as they are when you're coming straight out of Korean boot camp, um, for example. And mm-hmm. it's like depending on champions as well. But I think just the overall, like the level of the league is like you're playing at a lower level, so it's hard. It's hard. Like when I came off Worlds, it was like hard for me to keep the same level because the overall level was lower. Mm-hmm. And that's that's just always gonna be like it. Like if I go into Soroku game with only gold players, it's it's hard for me to. To play like a, a challenger, if my so so that's supporters... that's what NA challenger is to you, just gold players. Excellent. <laughs> that's no, a, that, NA that challenger is, is EU gold. You heard it here to first. To be fair, Dom, like people it's don't exactly think <laughs> Kobe is the most decorated European player, right? But by yeah. making round of eight of worlds once, he already matched TSM's entire org accomplishments in the history of worlds. So yep. yeah, there's yeah. There's an EU gap for you right there, mate. Yep, it's true. I mean, they did they did make it out of groups how many times? Uh, twice, but I think one of the times they were seated out. <laughs> they were seated. Oh yeah, you're right. Seated yeah. through the way, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. yeah fuck. Got that going, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, did you feel? I guess when we're still talking about that, uh, did you feel like the the ping makes you less confident in your own mechanics? Because that was something that I heard from Closer uh, when he was on our show. Is that like when you're playing Lee Sin with seventy ping? You just don't feel like you're as good at Lee Sin anymore. Like, did you ever feel that as an AD carry? Where you're like, shit, like, I don't know, man. Like, well, when when you play on stage or like online, mm-hmm. like the actual games, the ping is fine. Yeah. So, but going into those games, I'm fine. But, but yeah, if I play, I go solo queue and I play Astral, then it it just feels it feels off. Like I'm I'm lagging. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, like, I guess the, the question would be like, does it, did it affect your confidence at all going into like pro games? Because some some players like need to like feel confident in their abilities and solo queue to actually be able to translate I mean, it definitely has something to say because around playoffs i like to spam the game a lot and just get confident on whatever champion i'm gonna play mm-hmm. so I, I couldn't like i didn't want to spam the game because i feel like like if i spam the game in eu or in korea i feel like i'm actually at least maintaining my level or getting better Mo- mostly i am improving because otherwise i'm wasting my time mm-hmm. um but yeah, I didn't really have the same. I feel like spamming the game there didn't really help too much. Um, so yeah. I guess I guess uh, one question that I had here is like you've played a lot of seasons now, right? Like I think this is your fifth season that you've uh, competed in. Um, yeah. Do you? I mean, a lot of people get burnt out from playing the game so much. Like, do you have your own way that you like? determine how much you're going to play like do you take like breaks like how do you maintain like a high level for so long because you know uh, players like g2 you know you talk about them they're always going to all these international events or like when there were when there was international events so they had you know an idea of like okay we like don't try that hard in spring and then we start amping it up towards like msi and then we chill out in summer and then we amp it up again towards worlds do you have anything like that that you you do to like you know maintain such a high level for so long or do you just are you just like a grinder where you just play the game a fuck ton all the time? No, I mean I would, it comes and goes. Like um, I'm not I'm not spamming the game year round, and that's why I'm able to put up with it like year after year because a lot of players think you need to spam solo queue in off season and you need to spam solo queue throughout the whole split because you're playing every week. But for most players that doesn't work. Like you get burned out or you just like you're just playing mindlessly over and over. Mm-hmm. And when I take breaks, I I, I take breaks, like I don't touch the game. Um, but then after a few weeks, I kind of have to again. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't until this year, like right now I'm feeling extremely burned out compared to any other season, mainly because I didn't really have a break at all. Like since afterwards, my off season started two days after. I went boot camping with TSM, 
Uh, I got kicked. I was stuck there. Uh, so I wouldn't really say that was time off because I'm on my PC the whole day anyway with no one to interact with. Mm -hmm. and I came straight here uh, to EU, play Summer Split, and that's they, this year has just been like too much, I think, which is why I really need a break now. Um, but just choosing when you're grinding and when you're chilling. Uh, don't just grind 24-7 every day off-season as well. Uh, unless that's how you work.